let's talk about one more upgrade we made over here. All right, so what we did here was we added the heat shrink tubing uh, on the hose, and what that's doing is preventing any of the marks on the machine. Yeah, and this is our second oldest machine, our second oldest VF2, and there's like no, no wear marks, no paint marks, as opposed to the one that's like a year older and is super scratched up. And it's an easy upgrade, so. Totally, yeah, uh-huh. Um, and there's, while we're on the topic of upgrading machines, let's talk about one more upgrade we made over here. Okay, so what, what is this? Why is this here? So this is a, a quick disconnect for our pallet system. So instead of running uh, air through the center and keeping it inside the machine, we have this. And this just also, we have it outside and we go through the door that you pull the parts out of. That way you can't leave it connected yeah. and you have to remove it every single time. Yeah. Uh, also a problem we're getting with chips into the, uh, into the fitting. Right. So what we did was we three pin it, it's just a cap yeah, to go it. on there. And also, we need a spot for this, so we 3D printed a holder yeah. for the... So for this the, can go anywhere. Yeah, it can go anywhere. It's, you know, operator's yeah. choice. That's awesome. <laughs> and so this fitting is unique. It's a Japanese-style push instant connector. So you push it, it locks on, you pull it, and it unlocks, and it seals it. So it's not like the one where you need to, like, pull it back and then release yeah, it. It's one-handed operation, yeah. So that's great. Um, yeah, awesome, good tips.